In my life I've been so blessed God has helped me pass each test I just can't be happy With God's second best God's perfect will and nothing less I'm content to leave the rest I won't settle for God's second best When the devil comes a-calling Trying to get me in the flesh I just tell him I'm not interested In a life that's meaningless I don't want to live unless My life I know that God will bless I won't settle for God's second best God's will is, I must confess The only place I find success I just can't be happy With God's second best the devil tempts me with excess, but he won't force me to digress. I won't settle for God's second best. When the devil comes a calling, trying to get me in the flesh, I just tell him I'm not interested in a life that's meaningless. I don't want to live unless my life I know that God will bless. I won't settle for God's second best. 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 I've written that song because I've heard too often the sad tale of those who didn't wait on the Lord, ran ahead of Him, did their own thing, kind of like King Saul who decided to offer the sacrifice and intrude into the high priest's office. It wasn't his job. It wasn't his task. And someone might say, well, he was king. He could do whatever he wanted to, but it caused him to lose for himself and his posterity, the kingdom. And we have, I'm sure, over the course of five decades, more cases than we like to recall or speak of that have done the same thing that King Saul did. Moving ahead, not, not settling for God's best, but settling for something less. We would call it second best, second best. And second best is nothing that you and I should desire. In Romans chapter 12, it says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren. This is Romans 12, 1. Paul is begging saved people by the mercies of God that we do what? Present your bodies a living sacrifice holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Do you want God's best? Do you want His perfect will? I'll tell you where it's to be found, in the Word of God. Just trust Him. Wait on the Lord. Don't run ahead of Him. Don't be anxious. Don't be impatient. But wait on God. Today, somebody needs to stop dead in their tracks because you're running ahead of God and you need to wait on the Lord. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that you'll guide us and direct us and you'll take us through and I pray, Lord, that somebody today might yield to you, might surrender. While our heads are bowed and eyes are closed, perhaps you're one of those that hasn't yet been saved. You need to give up right now and let Jesus come into your life. Just pray something like this. Dear God, I admit that I'm a sinner. I need to be saved. I want Jesus to come in and save me, be my personal Savior. And if you prayed that and invited Christ in, let us know about it. If you're winning souls, please share that good news with us. And right now, if you're struggling with the will of God or you're running ahead of the Lord, you're impatient, 
Why don't you right now repent of that and say, Lord, I don't want second best. I want your very best. I want your perfect will. And Lord, we say amen to that and we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. All right, so let's, let's sing about it, shall we? Here we go. The devil tempts me with excess, but he won't force me to digress. I won't settle for God's second best. God bless you as you settle for God's best and not second best. You are listening to From the Shepherd to the Sheep Daily Devotionals. This is a ministry of Central Baptist Church in Woodbridge, Virginia. If you would like to learn more about our ministries, you can find us online at cbcwoodbridge.org. You will also find many other helpful resources there, including preaching, devotionals, and songs. We thank you for listening to this devotional, From the Shepherd to the Sheep.